Hey guys, welcome to Tech Hunt, and today we're gonna check how to make your attendance report. So here, here's what we're gonna do. So if you're a newly manager and if you really need to know how to do a shrinkage report, uh, here we go. So this is how we start. Initially, this is the completed report. So we're gonna do from fresh. So it's, we start with the serial number. Oops, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, then we put the name. You can use the tab to move from the cells. And then we go from Monday, and then this is just to recap our last class. Just if you have missed it, right? We can do the autofill. Right, and then we can go other names. Control A, and then center it, and then center that, and center this. Control A, Alt H B A borders. And then we make this black and then white it remains crisp and then we cut this and give paste just to have a clarity to my manager because we don't know if he's looking date wise or day wise you never know what your bosses are like so then you put the same date copy and paste the date then F, use the F2 key to get into the cell and then change the date to 2 the autofill won't work if you have the same data so you'll have to have a series of data 1 and 2 for the data to replicate itself and then now you, this seems odd so what you do is you create name and go merge text wrap text merge center and wrap text and then center so now you can use this name as format painter and go here oops control z format painter and go here so now you know it looks better now and then we're gonna look at day wise data for everybody so how many people have come each day so well, I mean, everybody knows that but it's always good to have a heading merge center day wise then I use my black and white right we are done and then what I'm trying to propose is we have employees who, who have come every day and there is an employee who has taken one day absenteeism now there's a difference between absenteeism and leave absenteeism is an un uninformed absence and leave is approved leave so people know that you're not gonna come so two present and two leaves one present one absent two leaves it's a very bad day and all leave is the worst day when you manager have to work that day and then you have well, this is just a random it's usually not like this all the time I mean it's new it's not usually like this all the time because in India we have Sunday holiday but in many other places or even in India sometimes you don't have holidays on Sundays so you probably have to bring this off inside and then the cam complication the, the formula becomes a little complicated but that's not an issue some other time but right now just to go to understand the basics we go with the off zone Sunday right now so now we know these are the people uh, this is the raw data so let's just say today is Monday and Monday we have four people coming in so the, the core foundation is we need to understand how many people actually work in the company if you do not have that number then you will not be able to do this properly so first you need to know total employee count so now well you can talk to your HR and he'll give you what is employee count it's just a sample of four people right so four people employee count and then total people scheduled to work so I put a control D to autofill the data total employee count and total scheduled to work now you need to know how many people are actually going to work this is usually the case if there is an off in between then we will work our way through that let me tell you that later and then how many people present I can do control D to bring the whole old formula again and then well it's merged here so put form format I can do double click on the format printer and use it to ah present absent leave daily shrinkage these are my columns I go format double click I format it and then 
I do go ahead and give a border looks nice and then I make sure this heading is shown separately it's cool and then I select all and make it center right so total employee count 4 so usually I mean I do not have anybody's resigning soon so I have all employee count as 4 today everybody is supposed to work every day except on Sunday because they are not supposed to work now this is the only manual entry that you are going to put but everything else is automated we can automate this too but at a later day not now so how many people are present today so the formula is count if open bracket range in this find the criteria p please note that the p is in apostrophe if you fail to put apostrophe the formula won't work so four people are present today and I can just copy this formula and paste it here and it will automatically do the formula right so three people two one zero one zero this is not important likewise you go ahead and tell me what to do now there then I select the range of the data where I need to find the data comma and I need to know how many people are absent that's A Okay. then I do the same copy select paste then I go ahead equal to count if use the tab if I want to and then select the range comma leaf L then got it we know nobody scheduled to work here so we can just go ahead and give zero zeros and daily string gauge the logic is simple it's equal to okay people who have not come to the office divided by the people who have come to the office so the people who have not come to the office are into two fields that is they have not come are equal, equal to sum of leave and absent divided by people who are scheduled to work so therefore it's a zero percentage shrinkage can copy this paste paste see we cut how it is it 25 percent 50 percent guess what is next 75 percent 100 percent and your percent and here the formula won't work because it's all it's not the right thing to do hope you understand and then well just to give a borderline because we don't know if your bosses understands tables but yeah give them a separate box and then now you know this is a shrinkage but then still it is incomplete without coloring it so we color it more give it a finishing touch uh, see now we can give a formula select the data and say and then go back to your conditional formatting and say if if my shrinkage is less than 26 percent then it's a good job boss I mean, your boss should approve for it but then hypothetically if you're now you go ahead and go highlight greater than 27 percent and make it yellow so now green is green yellow is yellow but these guys are also yellow that's okay then go to the formatting again highlight and then greater again 74 percent is red and therefore now you have green yellow and red so you can defy the classification of what's yellow green and red end of the day those colors don't really matter that much as much as bringing the people come to work right but then your boss will agree that you have gone an extra mile just to make the report look colorful even though it stings that's not the point here the point is we have learned how to make the report and this is it and well you can give it a finishing touch italicize this you know makes it looks nice well that was not there in the original plan right and then like always i always say when you finish the report so save the data here and then don't really share the source to people it's not a good uh, thing to share the data because people will take your data and will take the credit for your work so i prefer you go print screen or use a snip tool whichever is convenient then go to ms paint windows r run command ms paint paste it then cut this out control x control n don't save make it smaller so that you save the file size and well if it's still not right control x make it much smaller and now it looks better 
the file save as desktop and then attendance report weekly or week 32 depend upon whatever week that is and then you have that data share it to my email whatsapp picture is convenient hope you would like my video if you want to learn more please let me know i'll be more than happy to give more videos thank you for watching tech hunt have a nice day bye bye